Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the first on-screen video for object-oriented programming in C Sharp. So what we're gonna be talking about in this video is how to create our own class and how to instantiate this class. So we're gonna be using it as a custom type. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. Now I did want to mention one thing because you might see this as, as you start building applications. Essentially, when you're inside of this main method, you don't want to have to run all of your code from here. So sometimes people will create other methods and they will invoke them. And I will show you guys how to do that real quick. Very first thing, we're going to create our own method. And if you're wondering how this relates, well, you can see we're actually in a class right now. So this is a way we can instantiate this class and invoke our, our custom methods. So just, just let me shut up and just follow along. So we have this method void do something. We'll make it public and it's going to do something awesome. Well, you might see something like this where you have program, my program equals new program. This is how we instantiate something. So we say new, and then we say the, the class name. So in this case, it's class program, and we're just using it right here. So we, we say the class name, or you might hear people say the, the type, because we're essentially using it as a custom type. So just like string, for example, but in this situation, it's program. And on the left side, we give the variable a name and say what type it is. So it's a little redundant because we got program in here like three times, twice from the type and one in our, our identifier. But just get used to that. You might also see people use var and so forth. But anywho, once we instantiate a class, we can, in th we can then invoke methods on it. So we can say my program dot do something. And that is how we would start executing code that was down here. So maybe that's not super helpful to you guys. Maybe it is, I don't know. But what might be more helpful is actually creating our own class. So to do that, we can go over here on the left and zoom your eyes in a little bit because it's really tiny. We're going to click, right click our program and click add new file. And then here there's an option empty class and we can give it a name. We'll, we'll do uh, Pascal casing or Pascal and that's just where every word is capitalized with the first letter, and we will call this user, so singular. And this is what it gives us. So you have this public class user, and then you have this grayed out code here, which is what's known as the default constructor. And this is what is executed when in our code we say new, the constructor is hit. And later on, we're gonna be going through constructors as part of this program. But for now, you don't even have to worry about it because if you actually delete this, it's going to be created automatically for us behind the scenes we don't have to have that in our code in this situation. So that is how we create a class. How would we actually instantiate this class into an object? Well, let's show you guys that over in program. Now you can do it up here or you can do it down in this new method since that'll actually be executed. So what we'll do is we'll just do it down here for fun. And what we're gonna do is say user, give it a name, uh, my user, this is, can, people will just use my followed by the type just as a uh, convention when they don't have a, a good name for it. But you could also just say me as an example and say new user with the parentheses. So that is how you create the user and then what you would do is later on you would say me dot and you could use the methods or the, the properties or, or public fields inside of this uh, object. But since our class is empty, we don't got nothing in here, it's not gonna show up with anything useful and we pretty much have this useless object that's not gonna help us do anything. So in the next video what we're gonna do is we're going to start beefing out this uh, this object or basically going in this class and adding some stuff in here so that way our objects are a little bit more substantial. So be sure to check out the next episode. It's going to be titled uh, Pimp My Class. So I'll see you guys there. Be sure to subscribe and I'll check you out in the next video.